Hello everybody, Steve Crippers here, developer of the MT Predictor software program. In today's MT Predictor video, I'd like to look at a lovely W3 or Way3 trade setup that's recently unfolded on the Euro Canadian dollar. The W3 trade setup is one of our favorite trade setups, so I'd like to have a look at it in a bit more detail. But as usual, we start with our risk disclaimer and just to remind you that all examples in these videos should be considered as hypothetical. No trades are actually taken, they're just shown for illustration and training purposes only. Remind you there's a risk of loss in trading and investing, put another way, all professional traders know and understand, but more importantly accept that losses can and will and do unfold. It doesn't matter what trading approach you take, there always will be losing trades. Right, so the setup I want to look at is this W3 or Way3 uh, trade setup here that unfolded a little while ago on the Euro Canadian dollar four hourly chart. The reason I want to have a look at this one is because we've been following this in our regular MT Predictor training webinars for customers only over the last few weeks and we're actually preparing for this uh, in advance which has been the topic of another video I did um, a little while ago. So for those of you who are new to MT Predictor, we're not a black box system. We don't blindly take all our trade setups on the charts just as if it's an automatic system. The reason we don't do that is because we know and understand, but more importantly accept that, ma that markets can be random about half the time or slightly more. So we're only looking to uncover trade setups when the picture's clear. For that, we go to the higher time frame chart. So for a four hourly chart, the higher time frame would be the daily. If you're say trading a three minute chart, it'd be the 15 minute. If you're say trading a 15 minute chart, it'd probably be the hourly. So time frame between three and five time frames higher. I'm just going to use our training mode on our standalone version here and go back to well, quite a long while ago. So what we do is we place our DPs on the chart. Now they're on the, on the chart in advance. So I'm going to select this last major pivot low here. Right mouse click, do decision point. Can you see how it's on there in advance? In other words, it's asking the question. It's not saying the market will go there because markets can be random half the time, but it's saying what happens if it gets there? So it's they're preparing you in advance. This is the whole thing about MT Predictor. We're not reacting to say scanners or something like that. We're looking to prepare in advance. If I turn training mode off, we can see this is exactly what the Euro Canadian dollar did. It went down to this level. Can you see it just tagged the level there where it made a reversal. So if I now go down to the four alley chart, let's see how this looked at the time. Can you see here how the market then tagged that level? The market started to go back up. So in other words, it was actually doing what we projected. In other words, the picture was becoming clear. The MTP trend also confirmed that by going from red for a downtrend to gray to in the process of making a reversal to blue for an uptrend. So after this low was in place, we then deemed that the market trend is then up and therefore we should be looking for buy setups. Uh, so this W3 or Way3 trade setup was then a good trade setup to take because it was in the direction of the new large degree trend. So what is a Way3 trade setup? Well, if I place the major Elliott waves on here, you can see what this is trying to catch. It's trying to catch the end of the wave two to then trade the wave three. In Elliott wave terms, the wave three is normally the strongest and longest in a completed five wave sequence. So in other words, normally represents the largest potential profit for the smallest initial risk. What also do we know from Elliott Wave Theory? We also know that the Wave 2 typically unfolds as a three swing ABC correction. So if I have a look at this here, can you see how this Wave 2 here unfolded as an ABC? So this was the typical pattern for a, a Wave 2 correction. <clears throat> so therefore an MT predictor, what we're looking to do is we're trying to uncover the end of the Wave 2 to then get in for a potential wave three. Let's just clear that all off. The advantage with MT predictor is because rather than to place Elliott wave counts on the chart all the time, because we know that that doesn't work in practical terms, in other words, in real markets, the reason being is because markets go random half the time. This is why I developed my unique and isolation approach to Elliott wave analysis. Well, 20 odd years ago. MT Predictor was started in 2001. So what's that? 21 years ago we've been doing this. So this is why we look at whether a market is making reversal at the higher time frame support and resistance. So what we do is we draw a line in the sand here, i.e. when the market picture starts to become clear. When it's random, we don't want to do any analysis because the market pattern, pattern is unclear. So we only want to be looking at Elliott wave counts when the pattern becomes clear. 
So if we draw our line in the sand here, we start our elliptic wave sequence here. Therefore, we're looking for the initial rally to be wave one. We're looking for an ABC correction into our wave two, and this then gives us our W3 or wave three trade set up. And it was all set up because we had this level on the higher time frame chart on the chart in advance. So getting us ready for being able to anticipate this particular trade was then going to come in. If we place our analysis on here, This then allows us to come in for a trade setup here. We use position sizing because we know trades are incorrect sometimes. and You'll make losing trades. That's a fact of trading life. Because we're risking 2% of, a, in this case, a sample $20,000 account, you can do different account sizes if you wish, but let's keep this on our default $20,000 account. That allows us to then trade six mini lots. So when we're wrong, we're long what we call, or we're wrong what we call one risk unit. In other words, one R. But the beauty of the way three trade setup is because there's our target right at the typical way three WPT. The beauty of this is because the way threes are normally the strongest and longest in a completed five wave sequence. This then represents the largest profit potential for the smallest initial risk. Or put another way, the profits are large, not just in dollars, but in terms of the losses that come through when these trade setups are wrong. So this is why we look at the risk reward unit at the profit target in relation to the initial risk rather than just the profit. And you can see here the trade went up beautifully, went to the typical way three WPT where a profit of approximately four and a half times the initial risk was available. So this is a great example of not only our W3 or way three trade setup, but allowing us also or to, to demonstrate to you how we work in advance in the market. In other words, what we're looking to do is on the higher time frame chart, this remember what we had here, this level here, remember we had this on the chart before the market even got there. We had this level there waiting for us, ready to see what the market does at that level. Then if, not when, but if the market makes a reversal at that level, which is what it did here, we then deem the picture is clear. We then start looking at our Elliott Wave counts for looking for trades in that new direction. This is confirmed by MTP trend. The wave three is then the initial move up. We have an ABC correction down. into a wave two that then rallies up into, whoops, should have done major there, that then rallies up into a wave three. So there's the ABC correction into the wave two to then have the strong wave three. If I clear this all off and place the analysis on, you see that that gives us our potential trade setup with a profit that's large, not just in dollars, but in relation to the initial risks, or more importantly, when the losses come through, and that's important to understand, there always will be losing trades with any kind of trade setup. The beauty of this trade setup is not the high probability, it's the high profit in relation to the losses. In other words, it's keeping your losses small and profits large. That's what any successful trader is aiming to do over the long term. So a good example of our W3 or Way3 trade setup and also working in advance on the market in a work, sorry, working in advance of the market with our higher time frame DPs on a four hourly chart of the Euro Canadian dollar.